Oh, Ted Nugent. He's a controversial figure. Ted uh, speaks his mind sometimes a little too much. He's always an interesting person to chat with, I'm sure, though I'm I'm not sure if I'd pass, but as long as he didn't get into politics, because in, on this channel, we try to stay away from politics. And with Ted Nugent, it, it's he can't talk without mentioning politics. That's his whole thing. We have a lot of our, our, our viewers, maybe you're one of them, get on there and they call him Uncle Teddy. But maybe Ted Nugent is a little misunderstood, perhaps. Ted's on the new Carmine A Piece Cactus album. They'll be displaced throughout this video, telling you about the album and at the top of the description where you can pick up the album. We talk about Ted Nugent and a lot more with Carmine A Piece on Rock History Music. To you, Ted Nugent is? A friend, a longtime friend, a great guitarist, a man of his own uh, opinions, which I love about him. He don't give a hell about nobody, you know. But if he's on your side, he's on your side, mm -hmm. you know. So he's on our side. I know him since 1967 or 8. We did our first gig with Hendrix, him, and Vanilla Fudge. And, uh, and then later on, my manager uh, started managing him, so we got to see him more and more. And we've been friends all through the years. I played with him after. I remember when I was playing with Rod, we did American Music Awards. And we, we did Young Turks, and, uh, and and Rod's music was getting a little wimpy, as Ted said. So he said, when you're done playing this wimpy rock and you want to play a man's rock, give me a call. So after I was done with Rod, I called Ted, and I went immediately into Ted's band for a year. And did an album and touring with him, and it was great, a lot of fun. you know. And we got closer then. His next album, uh, he, he got another band, but I, I did some other stuff on the album. I forgot uh, what in percussion or background vocals or something. And, you know, and I could see him in L.A. playing and all over, whatever, and we became friends. And I did the Guitar Zeus record. He played on uh, Guitar Zeus 1 and Guitar Zeus 2. And we've been friends all through the years, you know. And, uh, and basically, you know, we, we talked to each other on the phone, by Texas. And when this album idea came about, I didn't even have to ask twice. I told him, we're going to do this. He goes, I'm in. It's like wow. that. So when we put it all together, I said, well, what song do you want to play? He said, I want to play one way or another. So he played it. He's the only guy that played the song, played the riff, and then when the verse came, he changed the riff to his own thing. And when I first heard it, I said, well, he's not playing the riff. I said, I said to my co-producer, Pat Regan, who mixed it, and I said, I like it, though. What do you think? He said, I like it too. I said, well, let's leave it then. You know? So we, whenever the verses came, he changed the riff to his own, like Ted Nugent kind of vibe. And it was cool. And then he would send us three tracks of guitars and solos. And, and then we would combine it all together and come up with what's on the album. We did it. I did the drums first of anything. Usually you put the drums after a vocal, I mean, after a guitar and a vocal. But I, I did the first two tracks, Parchment Farm and, and uh, One Way or Another. Just put a click on, I just played to myself what, you know, and I played, you know, thinking about where, you know, where I was. But it was hard because today I can, like anybody else, I could punch drums in. If I didn't like the verse, I could redo it. But it was very difficult to do that because I had nothing to play to. So when you heard the drums, you, unless you really knew where you were in the song, I couldn't do that. So I'd have to write down, like, the verse starts here, the chorus starts here, you know, like, and it got to be a drag. So I said, there's got to be a better way. So I did, like, evil. I would I would put the click on, i go, bam, bam, da 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 and then I had something to play to without thinking. I could just listen to it and play to it. And that way also, if I wanted to punch something in, I knew where I was. You know, I, I just said uh, second verse, third verse, solo, 20 bars solo. You know, I knew where, exactly where I was. And then I did the rest of the album like that. And then after that, I gave it to a, a singer, guitarist, harmonica player. He put a guitar, a vocal, and a harmonica where necessary. Gave it to the bass player, and now I had demos. And I said, Ted, do you want this? Okay. 
I'm going to, uh, Doug Pennick, what do you want? Can you play, play one way or another? They were big Cactus fans, yeah. King's X. When I played with Blue Murder and, and, and uh, Billy Squire, I went on their bus, they were opening up. They were playing Cactus on the bus. I said, I found out they were big Cactus fans. They also played on my guitars, this record. I said to Doug, can you play bass and sing one way or another? He said, sure. So we did that. Can you play evil? Yeah. Bass? Right. Okay. So I sent him the tracks for all that stuff. So he played bass on evil, played bass one way or another, and sang one way or another. And then I gave that to Ted Nugent. So now you got the drums, bass, and vocal. Now you put your guitar on. He put the guitar on. So it was all done with stems, you know? Yeah. And then they would send it back. And my engineer, Pat, co-producer, he'd put it all together. That's what his job was. To get it, I would get it done. I'd get the guy, I'd send it to him. He put it all together. And then uh, Evil, the same thing. I yeah. knew Dee Snyder was a, a fan of Cactus. I knew he'd done Evil before. Because uh, when he did it on his Widowmaker album, my... One of my students, Joe Franco, played with him. And I was talking to him about the drum part that he played it wrong. You know, and I heard at the time I heard D singing it. So I thought D would be great to sing this. So I talked to Joe. He said, Yeah, call D. He'll like, I'm sure he'll do it in a minute. So I called D and he said, I'm in. Not even a hesitation, just like Nugent, like that. I'm gonna do this. So you wanna do this? I'm in. All right. So he did it. And McCarty. Original guitar player played on Evil. He said, That guy from Twisted Sister gonna sing this? I said, Yeah. He goes, Oh, come on. I said, Trust me, man. So after he was done, I sent it to McCarty. He said, Who's singing that? I said, The guy from Twisted Sister. He goes, Oh my God. He sounds great. He sounds like Rusty. I said, Yeah, he does. I said, Told you so. You know, and that's how it went, you know, yeah. little by little. Some of the friends live in Colors Guy guitar. Vernon Reed. Yeah. Yeah. He was the friend. You know, I, I didn't know he might have been a Cactus fan. He never said so. <clears throat> so I got him. He's a friend. But people like Steve Stevens, I, I got, I said, you know, I'd like you to do this. I don't know if you if you know Cactus. I no Cactus. He goes, I'm from Brooklyn. He says, I know, I'm a fan of Cactus kind of thing. <clears throat> so some of the friends who ended up being fans, which I thought were only friends, like also was Malcolm Mendoza and Doug Aldridge. They were fans. They were, I thought they were just friends. So it was great. Like uh, uh, Warren Haynes, <clears throat> the blues, that was a hard one because we played the drums first yeah. to the click. And then we put the bass on. Uh, Jorgen from Government Mule put the bass on. And he played it with me with my track in his house. And he said, I'm, I'm bringing the energy up like you did. But I think that would be where... Warren will bring the energy up on the guitar. And then Warren did it vocal and guitar at the same time, which was unique and it came out amazing. He's amazing anyway. If you want to contribute to the channel, there's a PayPal link at the very top of the description. Also a link there for the brand new Cactus album that Carmine has just released with an all-star cast. You can join our Patreon. You'll get early access to all our videos. And go to our swag store. You can pick up a t-shirt at T-Top, a coat, hat, and a lot more with our logo on it. Subscribe to our channel, share our videos, comment on them, and like them as well. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.